Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate solubility in both moles per liter or molarity and grams per liter using KSP. So recall that solubility is defined as the quantity of a compound that will dissolve in a given amount of solvent at a given temperature. So in these problems, our solvent is water. Now the quantity for solubility in either moles per liter or grams per liter can be given. And we'll calculate solubility according to both of those units for this problem. So the problem is asking you to calculate the solubility in both units of molarity and grams per liter of silver sulfate in water at 25 degrees Celsius. So the first thing you want to do here is write the balanced solubility equilibrium equation showing what will happen when you dissolve silver sulfate in water. So your reactant will be silver sulfate solid and that's going to dissolve to give you two silver cations plus one sulfate anion. The next thing you want to do is look up the KSP for silver sulfate at 25 degrees Celsius in a table of solubility product constants. So when you look up KSP for silver sulfate, you get 1.2 times 10 to the negative 5. And again, this is the KSP at 25 degrees Celsius. KSP is different at different temperatures. So after you do that, you want to define X as moles per liter of silver sulfate that dissolve. So if you have X moles of the solid dissolving, then you're going to produce 2x moles per liter of the silver cation. Fix that. And this is because the ratio between the silver sulfate solid back in the balanced equation and the silver cation is 1 to 2. So for every 1 mole of silver sulfate that dissolves, 2 moles of silver cation will be produced. And 1 mole of sulfate anion will be produced. Therefore, x is going to be equal to moles per liter of sulfate. So now you want to substitute these values in terms of x into the KSP expression or the equilibrium equation for KSP. So that is going to be KSP is equal to silver, so the products time uh, products over reactants. So silver is going to be raised to the second power because the stoichiometric coefficient for silver in the balanced equation is two, and then you're going to multiply that by sulfate and you're not in including the product, which is a pure solid silver sulfate, in this equilibrium expression. So it's just the product of the ion concentrations. So now you can substitute in what you know. You've looked up KSP in a table. So you know that KSP is 1.2 times 10 to the negative 5. And that's going to be equal to 2x which is your silver concentration raised to the second power times x, which is the sulfate concentration. So now you want to solve for x. And you have 1.2 times 10 to the negative 5 is equal to 4x squared times x. 1.2 times 10 to the negative 5 equals 4x cubed, divide this side, both sides by 4, 
and you'll be left with x is equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. And because you know that your sulfate concentration is equal to x, you can just say that this is also your sulfate concentration. To find your silver concentration, you have to multiply x by 2 because we've said that the concentration of the silver cation is 2x. So all you do is multiply 1.4 times 10 to the negative 2 molar by 2. And when you do that, you get 2.9 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. So that is going to be your silver cation concentration. So those those two numbers are the solubility of the silver cation and the sulfate anion in moles per liter. But now what you can do is convert those two numbers. So the molarity of sulfate and then molarity of silver, you can convert them to grams per liter, which is another way you can express solubility. So to do that, you need to know the molar mass of both silver and sulfate. So using the periodic table, you can determine that the molar mass of silver is going to be equal to 107.87 grams per mole. And for sulfate, you're going to find that it's equal to 96.07 grams per mole. So all you have to do is multiply the concentration in molarity by the molar mass to give you solubility in grams per liter. So for silver, you're going to multiply 2.9 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter multiplied by the molar mass for silver, which is 107 0.87 grams per mole. Moles will cancel and the result is 3.2 grams per liter. Doing the same thing to get the sulfate solubility in grams per liter, you're going to multiply 1.4 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter. Multiply that by the molar mass of sulfate, which is 96.07 grams per mole. Moles cancel and you're left with 1.3 grams per liter. So those are your solubilities for those two ions in grams per liter. So that wraps it up. We've calculated solubility in both moles per liter and grams per liter using a KSP value that we've looked up in a table.